Triple National Marriage Day was a great success. August the 14th, over 500 people gathered on the lawns of Parliament House with colourful signs that said, man plus wife equals life. Children need a mother and a father. And of course, these signs said it all. And we thank the politicians who came and spoke at the rally, Senator Eric Betts, leader of the opposition in the Senate, uh, Senator Mark Ferner, a very brave Labor senator, came and spoke as well. Philip Ruddock, Kevin Andrews, Senator Cory Bernardi. A marriage between a man and a woman is much more than a personal union. As I said, it is the foundation of the family unit and the foundation of our society. It provides the very best environment for raising our children and to enable us to prepare the next generation for the challenges that lie ahead. So when this sacred bond is reduced to a mere contract between two, or as some would have it, even more people, or it's claimed as a human right, we begin to unravel one of the great pillars of our society. And in the dissenting report, we specifically refer to this particular passage in terms of the European Court on Human Rights. And it states in the past three years since uh, uh, twice stated, in fact, there is no, no human right for same-sex marriage. In fact, they indicated that instead of stating all persons have the right to marry, the International Convention on Civil and Political Rights provides the right of men and women of marriageable age to marry and to found a family shall be recognised. The Convention asserts the family is the natural and fundamental group unit of society and is entitled to protection of society and the state. And of course, uh, many, many others that spoke up. Peter Westmore, the head of the uh, National Civic Council, uh, came and spoke eloquently as well. Uh, Don Fetter couldn't be there because he was, uh, he, he actually had a sickness and he was um, unable to come to Australia. But those that came enjoyed it. Uh, Pastor Peter Walker spoke and uh, Tasneem Yusuf spoke and of course myself and Alison spoke up for marriage. Because you know, it's time to make a stand. And again, we just want to say thank you to all those that did make a stand. The media tried to ignore us. Uh, and then they wrote a very scurrilous article attacking Pastor Peter Walker, an Aboriginal man who spoke up and pointed out the many problems with, uh, that will beface our society as we embrace this uh, uh, homosexual marriage. And, uh, but you know something? It doesn't matter because you were there praying, we were there praying, and of course it's important now to keep our letters coming into our, our friendly politicians on both sides, encouraging them because marriage does matter and our children's future is very, very important. And on behalf of the team at the Canberra Declaration, I just want to say thank you for your support, your help, your uh, contribution, whether it's writing emails or it's uh, phoning your local member, going and seeing your local member, helping us financially. It all helps and believe it or not, we are making a difference here in this nation. God bless you.